So here's a book question out of your book. It says find the exact values of the trig function given. Notice it says exact values. That it says that because um, you can use these trig identities. I'm going to do number 38. The trig identities sum and difference identities, and then you can use your unit circle to find the exact not unit circle. Sorry, you can use the triangle that you create with this to determine the exact value. So first of all, let's do the sine of u minus v. Let's rewrite that using our sum and difference formula. Here it is right there, sine of u minus v. So it's sine u cosine v minus sine v cosine u. Let's see if I can remember that. Sine u cosine v minus sine v cosine u. If I wrote that right. I think I did. All right, so all we have to do is find, well, we already know what the sine of, uh, we already know what the sine of u is. It's 5 twelfths. So we can substitute those in right now. I'm sorry, 5 thirteenths. That's 5 thirteenths. And we already know what the cosine of v is. It's negative 3 fifths, so that's negative 3 fifths. But we don't know the sine of v or the cosine of u. So to find those, we have to draw our triangle. And you'll also notice the parameters they're giving us. They're telling us that u is in the first quadrant. So I'm going to draw this. And here's u right there. And the sine of u is 5, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the so this is going to be 14. And it's going to be a po I'm sorry, not 14, 12. And it's going to be a positive 12 because it's in the first quadrant. So what's the cosine of u going to be? It's going to be 12 over 13. So I can substitute that in right here, 12 over 13. And now the sine of v, I'll use red for this. v, it says, is in the second quadrant. So v is over here, which tells me, what, which is a good thing, because we knew that the cosine had to be negative. So this is negative 3. 5 is up here. Your, your hypotenuse is 5, because remember this is V right here, V, and so the opposite side, is this going to be a positive or a negative 4? It's going to be a positive 4 because it's in the second quadrant, which means it's going up, and so my sine of V equals 4 fifths, I can plug that in right here, and now I just simplify it all, so this right here is going to be negative 15 over 65, and this is going to be negative 48 over 65 and I could add them together so this is plus a negative 48 so that's a negative 50 63 over 65 and there's your exact value of it without having to use a calculator or anything like that